Let's go. Oh my god. Hi, how's it going everyone? We are playing Forward Escape the 4 again and this time around we are trying out a new spell that we have unlocked for Black Knight. So the spell is Swinging Sword. So you inflict 1 damage to a random visible non-boss enemy and we apply this effect until an enemy dies. It's a pretty cheap spell. I mean it's not crazy 7-8 cost kind. But its effect is not too great. It, it, it only deals to visible non-boss enemies but the good part here, the good part here is it really applies until an enemy dies so in the late game when there's a lot of high health creatures you can just keep dealing damage and you can guarantee to deal a lot of damage to all your surrounding creatures and even if they don't die only one creature die right you still you know am able to take less damage when you go through that path with all the creatures but i mean it's it's sad you, you get you, you don't get to deal damage to bosses which is Oh well, but that's fine. We we should try this out, and then we see whether this is good or not. But on paper, this seems not too bad. Uh, yeah, I think the difficult part about playing our Black Knight is that we are Dragon Wing, right? Enemies attack from all directions. But at least we get two Monster Bone minus one to enemy cards, so they are like severely weakened. Let's go with Gold first. Then we, we recuperate uh here. Go. Do I want to go for cursed chest? Not so keen. Health. Uh shield. Do an eco trade here. I can go for shield here. Heal. Shield. Oh, powerless. Oh, that sucks. Nice. You got in with full health. You receive immunity until the end of the game. You can't have any other status effect as long as you have this one. Dang. Next poison kind of pick will not apply poison. But I want status effects though. Status effect is what makes it fun, right? It's, it's neither positive or negative. This effect isn't it? It's always the key. Yeah. It's, no, it's either positive or negative. Give plus one to healing potion for each. I think I will go for Red Beat though. I mean, it, it's, leg it's legendary doesn't mean that you need to have it, right? I know I can prevent poison and all, but. Nah. Uh, add one shield card. The next. Oh, this is the shot after one use. Sheesh, when I longer poison you gain two armor durability. This is not too bad. But I don't I, I don't think it's a it's a it's a worthwhile sacrifice. You might take too much damage in the early game and we will die. Look at this. You just are coming from all sides, man. So we want to play it safe, you know. Shoo. Shoo. Go. Mana. Oh nice, we got a good path. There's no creatures at all. Amazing. Let's just try Cursed Chest. Add 3 poison cards. When an enemy attacks you, they have a person. Deal 1 damage to you when you move directly ahead. Actually right, if you think about it, if we go with that, that legendary item, right, then we get tons of like corrupted items. Then essentially, right, whatever poison that deals us, right, we can just ignore it. Then we try and hunt for an item that can that can multiply effects with the amount of corrupted items we have. That'll be insane. I think we should go with this. Because when so many creatures attack us, right, 25% is quite easy to hit. So the better chance, the least. The least offensive one is the is the one that you add three more poison. I just do this. Ugh. Nice. Oh, hit ban. Randomly replace all shoe cards with healing potions. 
Vana or no fuck that. <laughs> Add one prep protection card for each quarter item. Okay, not too bad. Any healing potion card gives you grit plus one. Nah, it's fine. I always thought that grit right gives you goal when you move, but it doesn't. It just increases the goal for go for for goal cards. Do you have any money left? Alchemy store. Uh increases the chance that the enemy loot is a mana potion. This is not too bad. But I, I feel that I really need to save up for something better. Oh this is... When you attack an enemy due to damage. Okay, okay. This this doesn't work for us. We are getting attacked a lot. Almost every time. Replace all card cards with item cards. This is worth considering. Get one skull after being attacked by an enemy. This is also pretty good. Uh, I think right. But how many times are we going to... I feel that the skull will be very useful. It will pay off in the end. Living heart. I'll, if I have the money, I'll buy both. But... We're gonna get tons of skulls, so we can hopefully get some skulls related item down the line. Or we can Or we can use it. Can, or we can use it on on like the black chest to buy more items. Chew. Uh Chew. God. Nice. Uh, go protection. Uh, mana potion. Go, go. And can you just go here? Take the poison. I think it's fine. Not a big deal. Mana, mana. You. Ah, uh, you see, it's unfortunate we can't use our spell here. Poison Hammer is the useful one, I think. When your armor runs out of durability, it inflicts 1 damage to all visible. After being attacked by a boss, gain as many gold coins as you have. HP left. They are all pretty good, but I'm not really keen on Poison Hammer. Like, to see 13 skulls just wipe out, right, that can be used to buy good items just to kill creatures. And I have no control how many scouts I can use. Absolutely terrible. I think the center one is better. Because you run out of shield very easily. Ah oh, fuck, this game really wants to ruin us. Man. Oh, it's the same, it's the same items. The crafted items. Annoying. They really sh they better give me an item that can that you that that relies on on crafted items, you know. Uh, I just use this. Oh, I want shoe. Diamond. Chess gives you 3 gold, heals you completely when you pick up an item. Oh, this is not too bad. Gold coins. Uh, let's go here. We'll just take damage. Like this. I mean... There's no choice, right? Eternal Sword. Nice. Mana. Shoe. Oh, there's no way we can escape this, man. We're taking so much damage. And so much poison is in our way. We really... It's either we find something that relies on skulls or we find something that relies on poisoning. Like, it would be insane, man, if you had some poison related stuff.
Ah shit, I went the wrong path. Okay, okay, okay. there's still chance <laughs> to come back from it. Okay, nice. When you lose all your health, all your armor. Ah, uh, this is not too bad. Amethyst, as long as you have style, give plus one to gold coins. When you are no longer poisoned, you gain two armor to beat. This is good. Since we lose so much armor all the time. Okay, let's, let's just use this. Ah. Wait a minute. Inflicts one damage to a random visible. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute. Am I reading it wrongly at the start? You know, when I read this, right, I thought you apply one random damage to like, okay, one damage to random enemies. So if there's like five enemies, right, we do one, 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 until one thing dies. But that, that's not, that's not true. You inflict one damage to a random enemy and you reapply it on it until it dies. I see. So I suppose the good part about this is that you... I don't know man. It, it's good at killing single target creature. Like, like, like big health, big creatures I suppose. Oh my god, I was so wrong man. Oh, let's go here. No! Uh, elf, elf, chew, chew. Oh my god, there's a fuck ton of poisons, man. Annoying. Destroy. Finally, we get to use our skulls. Vitality bleed replaces all healing potion. I I am I'm not I'm not an insane person. I'm not gonna go with that. <laughs> but replacing all healing potions with swords. What the heck? When an enemy attacks you, they have a twenty five percent chance of inflicting blindness. Give minus one. Come on, are you serious? There's nothing good here. It's okay. I'll save to go. And the cost of going for a chest of the dead. Three creatures attacked us. Uh... Fuck, Vitality Blade, annoying. Chest gives you three gold coins. Yeah, this is the one that makes most sense. Oh well. Can we use it? No, we can't. Oh my god, we are one away from dying. So close, guys. Uh, let's just increase the chance of rare items. I mean, we still have like what? How many rounds more? Four more rounds, right? Full health. Uh, please hit the one that is directly in front of me. Hang on, hang on. Wait. Oh. Wait. Oh, was I wrong? Maybe just now the situation. The situation where only one creature died, right? When it, when it was only applied to one creature. Maybe that was pure random chance. Like, maybe my interpretation was correct. Look at this. What what just happened? It applied to everything. But I mean, we have the powering that doubles it twice. But but it, if, if that's the case, right? Only two creatures will take damage, right? Isn't it? So that means that my interpretation is correct. And the previous time, it was just random chance that you only hit on one creature because there are two creatures, right? There's a good chance that you only hit on one instead of splitting. Uh, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. Nine. Uh. Yeah, I think this way is a better way. Okay, we kill everything here, not too bad. Do I want a shoe? I want the shoe. Go. Healing. Uh. Health. Poison. Shoe. Shoe. Uh, healing. Shoe. Okay. 
Oh. Okay, nice. We need to get some healing before we die. Gold coins. Protection. Ah, oh, crap. This is painful. So painful. Mana. You. Uh, this is a less, less damage route. Oh my god, we have enough. Ah, crap. We have just enough of it. Okay, let's just go for Poison Dagger. I know I wanted Immunity Orb in the early game, but we have some stealth here already. It helps, I suppose. The Grid also helps, right? We have 78 coins. How about Broken Bone? Nah. Poison Dagger helps, since we have so much poison, right? You can just start killing creatures left, right, center. Uh, we, we go this way. Because either way, it's going to hit us if we go left or right. Like left or center. So we might as well go for the one that go give us higher, right? Okay, let's go here again. Mm, here. Go. Okay, let's just go here, this rock. This is a sensible one. Mana, okay, finally. Go. Okay, let's just do this and try and kill something. Yeah, you see, it's correct. We are right. We have to go for the chest here. Because we have so much gold, we can buy so many things. Hard cards now give you plus 4 max HP max. But all future items you encounter will be... Oh my god, Night Feather. When you receive Skulls, you gain... Okay, let's go for this first. Life Shrewing. Receive Armor heals you instead. Wait, what is this? When you receive Armor heals you instead. And then we, we have Hard Cuts. It gives you 4 HP max. No man. I'm not interested in this. 4 HP max? But all items are corrupted. This is also corrupted, right? We receive armor, it heals you. No, if we if we do that, right, our item is useless. We no longer can go stealth. Our stealth is helping us to some extent. Okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, uh, so painful. So many status effect. Is there a good chance we can go for poison and kill that? Right? Or oh, we take so much damage as well. It's like even though we deal damage, right? We also take damage from the poison. So maybe the immunity hops ops help like oh we have to sacrifice my greed and my protection if i get ever get any protection chasing red orb oh not too bad is there any start of level effect oh we have none <laughs> we have none what the heck give my one to bosses not too bad Give plus one to sword cards. I think right, we can buy these two. Then we try and look for... We look for those items that, that have start of level effect. Hard cards give you 10 armor durability. But do not increase your max HP. When you attack enemy, you earn... Oh, this is not going to happen. We are not attacking things. All poison cards also inflict 3 damage. Hard cards giving us 10... But, wait, 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 How, where are we at now? Wait, was the, was the creature just now a demon? It was, right? So we no longer need iron block anymore. We no longer need iron block. Because that's the last boss, right? We are not getting any more hard cards, really. Yeah, you're right. There's no need. Oh, this is the, decept the, the, the very deceptive one. If you see like there's tons of items and there's no creatures, right? At the end, it's a boss. 
So if you are like low on health, you should just prioritize healing and shields. If you have less than 4 HP and But I don't want horn helmet. I don't want horn helmet. So I'll just go here. Death Orb. When you use your power, inflict one damage to all visible enemies. Oh nice. Carrot. Yeah, I think this is the definitely something that we want to go for. Since we have quite a fair bit of corrupt items, right? Two. Three, three cropped up items. Then what? Inflict three damage to all visible enemies. Oh, we can have a complete wipe out when we use our spell. This will be insane. Let's go. Oh my god. Ah! Madness. New achievement unlocked. You attack an enemy, not gonna happen. You get 3 armor durability when starting a level, plus... Okay, let's get things cheaper. Okay, I'm not starting a level anytime soon, so it's fine. You, you. Okay, use again, destroy everything. No, not everything, but it's close enough, close enough. Go. Okay. Probably should I just pick the poison, right? Uh if you go here. Then we go here. Okay. We can shield. We can shield. We can heal. Then we can go for this. That's fine. Uh, we can use it now. Use our mana potion. Go for gold coins. Uh, pick the shield. It's a better trait. Okay, then we go here. Then we do this. Okay. Uh, we take the damage here. Oh no, we have stealth. Forgot about it. Okay, I think all is good. Oh, we survived! <sighs> it was a good game. Golden ticket. Add two merchant chest cards in all future. Did I? I thought I saw this before. It is nothing unique to be honest. It's unfortunate that... I don't know. I wonder whether this game, right, is pure RNG or not, in terms of the item given. Like, or do they kind of cater items if you choose specific items, like a branching decision tree, right? Because I have so much product items, right, but I didn't get, or I didn't see or notice there are items that allow me to utilize corrupted items, like, based on how many. Like, we only had one, I think. I think one of it was like, what was it again? Like how many corrupted items you if you have how many you if, if you got X amount of corrupted items you you do something. It just it just didn't felt enough. Hmm can't find it or I didn't pick it. Ah, never mind. Yeah. But overall I think this spell, right? It's not too bad. But I just hate randomness here. The game is really ra very random to begin with. And you give me this. Like, this is much this compared to an actual sword, the sword is, I think, is better. Like, if you run Raven, right, then you use Raven spell to increase the sword's ability. That is, like, way more consistent than this. Like, like this is just applying random one damage. So, not too sure. I, I, I don't think I enjoyed this spell that much. Yeah. But, I mean, it's a, it, it's, at the end of the day, it was pretty fun. Like, like, the last round where we had, like, power ring, and then we had our our not, not spectral sword we have our death orb yeah oh oh yeah it's death orb death orb because for each corrupted item right okay so at least we have one item that relies on corrupted item so when we have power ring and death orb we managed to destroy like like there was one time we wipe out the entire board but that was the only one time oh well but i mean it's not too bad yeah so if you enjoyed this um please subscribe comment and like and I think there's a playlist in the description 
where you can check out all the other gameplays as well. I'll be trying out all the unlocked spells for each character, so stay tuned.